Hey, hello, this is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I hope you're doing good. We've had some really strange weather down here in Florida. One week it's sunny and bright, and I'm wearing shorts, and the next week I'm freezing to death. But anyway, right here we have something that I think most of you are familiar with, and that's these little... SDR dongles. Actually, they're originally designed to be a TV dongle so that you can receive TV over the air. Uh, but uh, the, that function normally only works in Europe where they have a different type of TV system and some uh, very inventive Hackers have hacked these things to turn them into wideband receivers that you can receive shortwave, HF, you name it, VHF, anything you can believe, all the way up to like 2 gigahertz. And they only cost like $20, and then you get some, um, as for the ones that are VHF and UHF, the $20 ones don't work down into the HF band very well. And they're coming in all forms nowadays. People are like, here's a, down here is a Hacker RF one, which is just another version that you can uh, get. And today I'm going to show you an ebook that if you're either interested in getting into this, and it's takes a little bit to get it set up and it can be confusing or you've already been in it and you're struggling with you know getting the most out of your dongle I'm going to show you an ebook that you should get okay I got this off of Amazon and there's a couple of them there's one down here called RTL SDR that's pretty good too but this one this one has everything it's uh, the hobbyist guide to the RTL dash SDR really cheap software defined radio, and that's those twenty dollar dongles I'm talking about. Now they're down to like ten dollars. And if you're a uh, Kindle book of the month, I call it. It's not really a book of the month, but that's what I call it. Uh, subscriber on Amazon, you can get this book for free. Check it out. Borrow it. And then either buy it or return it when you're through reading it. It has 475 pages. So it's just packed with information. Now keep in mind that ebook pages are about one quarter of the text that's in a regular book. So you got to keep that in mind. So even at that, this is almost 500 pages, so even at one quarter of that, that's still a lot of pages. And you can take a look inside here, use this little look inside thing, and it give you some examples of what's in the book. But I'm going to show you a little deeper what's in the book. So here we go. Let's go down to my, this is my Kindle for the PC reader that you can get from Amazon. It's they just did an update, so it's a little better. I didn't like the initial version, and uh, but it's gotten a lot, lot better. So here's the book. It's an e-book. Um, let me go back for a second, so I forgot to tell you something. That if you can buy this outright, the Kindle version, for $9.95, $9.99, excuse me. Or you can get actually a paperback version for $18.96. You might want to get that if you're old school like me and you like hard copy but let's go back to the book okay where is it here it is so let's look at the table of contents first here's where the table of contents starts and it gives you an introduction into the software defined radio and particularly these tv dongles and it talks about some of the specifications and how they uh how they in general work, uh, what's the minimum requirements you need as far as a PC to interface with them, tips for buying them, because there's all kinds out there nowadays, all makes and manufacturers, models, 
And like I said, you can get them as cheap as $10 now. I paid $20 for mine. And he gives you advice of which ones to buy. And then he goes through on setting up and using this dongle. And this is where a lot of people kind of give up because it's not straightforward for setting up the, the software, your PC, and this dongle, and then using the software. <clears throat> Excuse me. So he goes into those details. Um, and then he goes into some technical things about the dongles themselves. And then some modifications to improve the dongle. dongle like how you can receive uh, low frequency, medium frequency, HF on these dongles. Because typically... The $10, $20 dongle only goes down to like 50 megahertz. It's as low as it'll go. Um, and I'm just going to glance through a pa few pages here. Uh, here's some things you can receive. Here's ACARS uh, related to um, aircraft data that they're putting out. The Another one is the ADS-B information that's coming from aircraft, NOAA weather stations you can listen to, um, and it just goes on and on and on. I mean, this book has everything you need to know about using, setting up, and um, having fun with these dongles. And like I say, even if you've got your set up, it goes into a lot of other things that you haven't tried or want to try or didn't know about. And I was going to kind of just briefly go through this. Here's, here's a list of things you can receive with these dongles. Um, police, ambulance, fire, EMS conversations, air traffic control, air traffic uh, aircraft positions. That's the ADS-B data that's being automatically sent from aircraft flying overhead with their position, speed, and all that stuff. And just look at this list. It just goes on and on and on. And you can actually use, use this for listening to TV um, outside the United States. Here's, here's receiving HF weather facts. Again, using this dongle and some free software. And he go, gives you detailed information on how to do this. And he's got pictures, charts. Here's setting up and using. It goes step by step how to set the software up, which can be confusing. Here's screen captures of setting it up, things you, you know, might run into. And here's some pictures of what you will see. This is SDR Sharp program. There's a number, there's a, a ton of software packages out there nowadays to utilize these little modules. And this, it's got, you know, screen capture pictures here. It's just, if nothing else, it, if you're not into this, it will get you excited about getting into it. Going and buying a ten or twenty dollar dongle, buying this book and setting it up, you'll have I guarantee you will have a lot of fun. And it just just goes on and on and on. This is telling you how to use the various program. This is another one, HD SDR. It's another software package for using these. I like this one. I like the SD Sharp. And it shows you how to set up the options. Here's some more programs. This is SDR-Radio. And just, I mean, I don't know. Let's see, what page am I on? I don't know what page I'm on. Oh, here it is. I'm on page... Good grief. Oh, it's location. Okay. I'm 16% through the book. Six, only 16% through. Now, let me see if I can find, uh, I was trying to find, there's an up close, T 
talks about he talks about the electronics on these dongles, and and what how to tweak them, how to tweak the software to get the best results. I mean, when I first set mine up, I was just trying to see if I could get a local FM stereo station, and I I could see it, I could see the picture in the spectrum of the signal, you know, nice big broad signal, but I couldn't decode it. And I had it set up to FM and all this stuff, and it was just just garble, kind of like the way I normally talk. And I finally, you know, did some research. Took me, you know, quite a while to get it, just get that simple thing working, FM stereo working. This book, it gives you the information right here, everything you need. You don't need to search the Internet. It does give you some links to more details about the software and stuff like that. But it's all in this book. I, I you know, I'm, yes, yeah, I'm excited about this book. And no, I'm not associated with the author. <clears throat> but I really think that you should get this book. And let me go back to the web page. Where'd it go? There it is. And get this off of Amazon. If you're in the Kindle Unlimited book of the month, I call it. It's not really a book of the month. You get the way that works, you get you can check out, just like you were using a library, you can check out ten books at a time and keep them as long as you want to. If you want another book, you have to return one. So the total you can have checked out is ten books. It costs you ten dollars a month for this service. And then if you um, decide to to get out of this ser- out of this service, this ten dollars a month, you will lose all the books that you have checked out. They'll disappear. But what's nice about it is, uh, and the, how I started out was, I joined this so that I could find out what's in those books in detail. Because look, for instance, I'll show you here. Look inside. Okay, here's look inside, which is what you can do on Amazon. See the table of contents. I'm scrolling through it very fast. Guys, that table of contents is long. And then it gives you, in this case, on this book, it gives you the first couple of pages. And for this book, you can conclude, just looking at the first couple of pages, this is going to be a good book. Other books, they may only show you two pages of the book. So you don't get much insight. So by joining this Book of the Month Club, I call it, you can check out those books, go through the entire book, keep it as long as you want. And then uh, if you get into it and you say, you know, this is one I, this is, this is what I call a reference book. So it's something that you'll be going back to time and time again. So you probably want to eventually purchase this book. And then you can, down here, you can see, here's a bunch of, a whole bunch of other ones. This is just a few, of course. Now, all, all the Kindle books that Amazon sells is not, they're not all in this Kindle Unlimited library. So keep that in mind. You can't check out every ebook they had. But say for instance, um, let me find one. Here's one I've checked out. Now I'm trying to find one. I'm trying to find one I checked out that I didn't like. Oh, I did, well, I liked most of these. That's why they're they're listed down here. Uh, this one here, Digital Digest 2014. Uh, which is about uh, receiving uh, HF stations. And, I, you know, it's three ninety nine to buy it. I checked it out under this library thing, and I didn't like it. So I just returned it, picked out another book. If I would have liked it, I could have bought it. So anyway, that's that's what I wanted to show you today. This is the Hobbyist Guide. Yeah, that's the name of it. If you're interested in it, please, I think you should get this. If you're interested in these software-defined radio dongles, you should get this book. This will really either get you started or 
give you more different additional information about it. So anyway, if you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and stay warm. Bye-bye.